Hey guys, so today I'm going to be following a plan with me. I'm going to be using um, this freebie. This is from Honeydew Paper and it was her Black Friday freebie. Um, I placed two orders so I have two and I figured with two I could definitely make this um, a spread. I would have eight full boxes, eight checklists, eight half boxes, and some icons. So I'm going to be using this and pulling in some leftovers from past kits and some multicolor items to make this um, a week's spread. Um, for washi, I'm going to use this floral one from Michaels, this skinny silver one that I believe I got at Target Dollar Spot, and then this green one that is also from Michaels for my bottom washi. And then I'm going to use glitter headers. I kind of set three out already because I was trying to decide what colors I wanted to use. And I'm using these glitter headers from Ava Plans Co. So they're just like little mini sheets. And um, yeah, so I put down three already just so I could see how it looks. So I'm going to put on the bottom washi and then I'll meet back with you guys. Okay, so I just put down the bottom washi. Now I'm gonna put down the rest of the glitter headers before I do anything else. Okay, so I have all the glitter headers put down. So now I'm gonna do the checklist. I'm gonna start with the navy one. I really, I do have a ton of Honeydew Paper Shops kits. I've actually used most of them. Um, they're some of my favorites. She just has like a lot of functional items and just like I just really like the setup she there's just a lot in her kits so I had placed a few orders on Black Friday well two so I have two of her Black Friday freebies and it's just really simple and I'm not really doing anything else green for March because next week I'm doing the Glen Planner Beauty and Beast kit for the movie and the week after that I'm doing like a spring kit I think a little bit of green in it, but it's mostly like yellow. So because of that, I thought this would kind of make a cute spread for March. And then the little flags at the corner do already match. I do really like these colors. I don't do green spreads quite often, but I think it does look really pretty. I did a purple spread last week. I didn't get a chance to film it because I was really busy, but that was a Glen Planner Secret Garden. And it's very purple, and I, I don't do a lot of stuff with purple, and I really liked it. Okay. I think I'm just going to go like in a pattern order. Not really think about it a whole lot because all of these full boxes are just very simple. Obviously I have a few of the same ones. So. I really like this stripe one because one of the little stripes is like a silvery blue glitter. And then for a weekend brander, I brought out this old, like, I think this was December monthly color sheet that she did, and 
yeah, I think it's December, and it has kind of like this weekend banner with the blues and greens, so I'm going to use that. Very cute. I love her little bows on the ends. So yeah, that's the basics of the kit. Let me just put this last full box one over here. Oh, we're in March. So it doesn't have like a loop. So I'm actually going to line it up with the top of the dots. Okay, so let's get into the actual planning day by day. Okay, so Monday I just have an exam. And that's about it that I have to mark on Monday. So there is that label. And then that is literally it for Monday. So I'm going to leave it. Tuesday, I just have a TV show on. And then I have to do my cat litter. So here's what I'm going to use for the cat litter. These are from Glam Planner. Her little cat litter box stickers. And I will just put this down here. Oh, and I have a TV show on. So let me actually do the TV show at the bottom. Put that in. I can write it in um, here. And then for the TV show, I'm just going to use the little TV from the sheet. Put that right there and write that the middle is on. And then Wednesday, I have a few more things going on on Wednesday. I have another exam. So I'm going to use another one of these little labels. I'll use this like yeah. And I'm actually going to put it in the same spot as the other one so I can see. Oh, I keep lining it up. No. So there's that. And then it is the series premiere of Survivor and Designated Survivor. So I'm going to put that at the top because that's kind of important. And then I will use like a TV sticker. Actually, I'm gonna pull something else. So I'm actually gonna use these Teeny and Bob little teeny sticker, um, teeny TV stickers, <laughs> um, because I'll probably be watching those shows. Should I do the little one? Yeah, let's do the little one. Sorry about that, I just realized I have a makeup swatch on my hand. So I have that, the exam, and then I have a bunch of other TV shows on that I still want to mark. So I may just write them in. So I have these little extra little things from, where are these from? Caress Press? These are from, I think, the 4th of July kit. Yeah, 4th of July kit. I'm going to put one at the bottom, a bunch of TV shows on, like Survivor, Designated Survivor, The Goldbergs, Modern Family, and Blackish are all on this day. So I'll do the little calendar, the film, little reel, and a little calendar thing to mark that those shows are on as well, but I just marked the Survivor and Designated Survivor a little bit bigger because they are like premieres. Okay. So that is Wednesday. Then we move on to Thursday and I have a project this due Friday so I need to make sure that it's finished on Thursday. So I will use use or half box. So I'm gonna go and make sure project's done. So I'm just gonna use this laptop icon for that, which it's not really on my computer, but that's okay. And then I have a TV show on. I'm gonna use this little black label. This is from the Planner Gems Monthly Kit. I think it's gonna be a little long. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cut it down a little. these left over so still definitely want to use them 
And this is for Big Bang Theory. Does she have a little TV in here? Probably not. That's okay. I have another one on this little page. So that is on. And then I think that's it for Thursday. For Friday. Oh, one thing I actually forgot to mark on Wednesday it is pre-sale day, and I have this little freebie from Glen Planner that has a little pre-sale day sticker. Can I put that in my to-do list? Oh, I can put it right here. Super cute. Back to Friday. So Friday, I need to finish a book because I don't want to get stuck doing it over spring break. So for that like a bunch of little sheets. So for finishing the book, I'm going to take this glove. This is from an old honeydew paper shop kit. See all the functional stuff I just love. So for finishing that book, I'm going to put that at the bottom because I'll probably be doing that more at night. That I have a project that is due. So we'll use a half box for that. I'll use... Oh wait. Yeah, I'll use... project being due, what do I want to use? For the project being due, I'm just going to use one of these little laptops, even though, again, it's not on the laptop, but that's okay. Um, for finishing this book, I'm going to use one of these little Bibbidi reading stickers. These are from a glitch grab bag, but that's okay. Where should I put it? Like, in here? Here? So finish reading and then also our quarter ends. So that's pretty important. I'm gonna take this like big label from Honeydew Paper. It's like a big, a little bit bigger than a half box. It's like rounded off. And then with that, I'm gonna use a little teeny and bop at school sticker. I'll use a big one to mark that the quarter ends. So that is it for Friday. Saturday, um, I'm gonna run to Target. So I will use, I use this top box for, I know on that one page I have like a, yeah, a bunch of little labels. So I'll use, that one has snowflakes, so that will not work. It is not still summer from here. Should I use this label? Yeah, I'm like second guessing it. Yeah, well, because it won't be all day. And I have these little Target stickers from the Glam Planner. These I got in the Advent Calendar. Put that on there. And then I'll probably put a half box because I'm sure I'll have something else that I do all day. So I will mark that. Oh, and I kind of wanted to put a movie marquee if I go see a movie. Okay, so now I'm going to add this movie marquee because I'll probably watch a movie at night and I think it'd be cute to mark it with a little movie marquee. Ooh. I'm going to kind of layer this with the glitter header. That's what I like about the glitter headers. Is you can kind of layer stuff on them and it's not a big deal. Okay, this one is from Glam Planner. It was from an old little sheet. Then Sunday, there's quite a few things. So I kind of want to put in these cute little sleepy stickers from Pumpkin Paper Co. I really like these, so I'm going to use this. I have to plan, and I have a bunch of eBay stuff ending, so it's going to be like an eBay heavy day. So I have these from Glam Planner that I'm going to use, and then I have these little planners from Glam Planner. And then I want to paint my nails, so I have these little teeny bop nail time stickers. Ooh, Glam Planner said she might have a glitch sale, I believe, on Saturday. So let me add this little scalloped label. Do I have a different color? Actually, I'll use this little navy one. Actually, no, I won't. Oh, I can't decide. I don't know if I want to do that color, though, because I've been using it a lot. Oh, I guess that's okay. I'll just do the little scallop label. Just in case she has that. If not, I can put something else on it. Oh, and there's this cute little car. I'm actually going to add this. That's cute. Because I'm 
driving to Target. Okay, where was I? What do I have to do on Sunday? I think this is it. So, first I'm gonna mark, let me get my half boxes out. So first I will use this, no, 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 no. I'm gonna use this little straight half box at the top. And that will be for doing my nails. So I'm gonna use a big little teeny box. So, so cute. Do it right there. And then underneath that, I will put. Like that. I'll do this little skinny hair label. Actually, I'm going to switch these two. No, that's fine. I'm going to flip this little skinny label. Tomorrow is sleeping in. I just really like these little girls and I wanted to use one. I don't use those super often. And then I just need to mark planning, payday, and then the walking dead is on. So for the walking dead, I'll use this little, this last little navy one from the planner gems monthly kit. There's a little, another little um, honeydew paper, a little TV on that little sheet. So I'll put that in. So for planning, I will use like a half box because that's a big event usually of the day. So I'll put that in. And I will use this little planner here. I think that one matches the best. And then she has a little camera icon, because I will film it. Put that in, that doesn't match the best, but that's okay. And then eBay, I actually might just do it up here, because it will be on my to-do list. What do you guys think? Should I do it up here? I will, I'm gonna actually take this little silver sparkly label, because we are trying to bring in some glitter. Cut off a bit. I'll use like this light. No. She has like different shades of green for the money. That's cute. And I kind of want to use the big payday flag because it's kind of a big deal. So I'm going to use this little payday flag. Just kind of center it so it covers those hearts perfectly. Yay. Okay. So yeah, that is. Monday through Friday. Oh, um, Grandpa usually has um, new releases. So I'm going to take a gray. I'll just use this little label here at the bottom. She usually has new releases, so I'll just go aside. If I do, I don't always order, obviously, but I just feel like marking them so that I know. I'm going to use one of these Clever Girl Crafts little floral hearts. I'm going to use this light green one to mark that. So, yeah, that's Monday through Friday. I mean, Monday through Friday. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that's kind of how my brain works, Monday through Friday. Now let's go on to the sidebar. So first I need some habit trackers. I have these from Ava Plans Co. I'm just going to use this ish go. Then for the sidebar, I'm going to be using these checklists so from Scribble Prints Co. And then I didn't bring any headers, so let me go get some. Okay, so I pulled, so this is kind of a sheet that I randomly made. I like was combining some of my extras. So these ones are from Glam Planner. I'm going to take this dark blue one that says Workout. I'm just going to layer it on top of this little white box because that's what I use it as track. So that way I don't have to write it in. And I want to do work because I have a lot of eBay stuff that I have to get done this week. So between that, and then I kind of want one that just says to do. Actually, I'll use the glitter one. Okay, so we'll do to do right after that. And this is a Scribble Prints Co. checklist page that I think, I 
don't remember what kit this went to. I think it was the one that had like flamingos and like birds on it. I can't quite remember. So I'm gonna do, I think these two, or should I do this kind of like bright green? No, that doesn't match it at all. Let's do the, yeah, the green. What to do? Oh, that was very crooked. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Now I'll do the word cutter. Hoping this goes. Now I'm gonna have leftover space at the bottom. Do just this one. That one did much better. So then I have a blank space at the bottom. <laughs> what do I do with it? I think I'll do a half box. Yeah, I'm gonna put a half box there. From the sheet here. Maybe I'll do like this green one. here. I could do spending. Yeah, let's do spending because I don't really want to spend any money, so. So, I'll just put this down. Now, is there anything else on the sheet I would use? I don't think so. Okay, so here is the spread. Yeah, I think this came out really cute. It's very green. It's definitely, yeah, I think this spread that I'm doing for um, that week is, it has a little bit of green, and the next week I'm doing Beating the Beast. So yeah, I think this was a really cute spread for March. It's definitely a little mismatched because I didn't really have a full kit. But nonetheless, I think it came out really cute. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already so you can be notified about future videos. And have a great day.